Only of your first elders, they were in shock and in confused state, as Kabiesi decided to reduce his wives to two rather than losing his mind, allegedly. They said Kabiesi has called his elders, elders in council, especially those of them who think that they are the decision makers, to let them know that uh, they have encouraged him to marry many women when he has problem with his first wife, Queen Naomi. And when Naomi left the palace, that now he have married the women as they have advised him. But right now, it is he who wears the shoe that knows where it pinches most. That he have tried being a single, uh, marrying a single woman and marrying all of these women and he has seen the difference. That he better lose some of these wives rather than losing his mind because it is getting out of hand. With the kind of thing that is going on in his life, that he no longer wanted to continue like this. As he is, he still has the right and opportunity to change or reshape his life to the type of life he has planned for himself. That even before he became a king, he has promised himself that he is never going to be a polygamist, that even his father is not a polygamist. So... They said the elders were shocked. They were just looking at him. They were, they, as in they couldn't believe it. Where we heard that the, the elders are still arranging for the new virgins to bring to him. And he is here telling them that enough is enough. That he doesn't want, that he knows what he passes through. That if not that God is with him, that most times he, he, he will just feel like ending it all. But God is with him. So they said he have told them that right now, that all these honorees will have to leave, even though it is going to be very difficult. Because as a father and a king, a lot of people look up to her, up to him, sorry. Uh, there are certain decisions that he is not expected to make, like going to marry people's wives, people's daughters, and all of a sudden. Of course, there are people's wives too. <laughs> All of a sudden, he would just decide that uh, the marriage is no longer going to hold and everything. See, women do uh, uh, option out of marriage when it is not okay for them. So if KBSC do it, it is not going to be a crime. And he is not going to be the first to uh, have ever done that. The marriage is not, for, is not favoring him. It has been from one problem to the other. Forget the fact that you see them when they come to do their royal representation. They will be smiling, making a lot of people believe that the palace is the best place to be. They said with these women in the palace, that palace is the worst place to be. But when Queen Naomi was there, the palace is the best place to be. And Kabiasi have decided that right now he will need to make a decision for himself, a decision that will bring him peace and happiness. And he have decided to stay with just Queen Naomi and... Dr. Elizabeth, because he has stayed with these people and he has found out that they are the people that bring him peace and love and affection. They care about him. Yes, they said the two people that care so much about KBSC in this marriage happens to be Queen Naomi. Yes, Queen Naomi has to care for him because if he did not care, for, if she did not care for KBSC, if anything happens to KBSC, it is going to affect Tadenikawo. So, uh, and apart from that, we all know that Queen Naomi loves KBSC so much. If not that Naomi loves KBC, I'm sure by now she would have fight for her right and leave this marriage by all means. But I believe that for the love that she has for KBC and for the guidance of God, because I believe that God is in action here. That is why she is still waiting patiently for the right time to return back to her matrimonial home. Then Dr. Elizabeth, on the other hand, that one is one person that have also proven that KBC's uh, safety is her priority. She does everything to ensure that KBSC is safe. And yet, you hardly hear it from her mouth. All the support that she is giving to KBSC, if it be happens to be the person that is giving such financial support to KBSC, hey, as a matter of fact, KBSC, some of KBSC's property would have, they would have done change of name. Everything would have been going to Igbi. <laughs> but KBSC, on the other hand, KBSC is very smart. He knows that these people are not trustworthy. And that is why you see him giving everything to the play, to the person that she knows he knows very well that will keep them safe. Kabiasi knows that Penami will keep anything handed over to her for, for Tadenika, or that she is going to keep it safe. That is why you see him giving everything out to Tadenika 
of which it is to Queen Naomi, you know. So right now they say she have told the uh, he have told the elders that it is high time he stays with these two Oluwis so that he will be able to drink water and keep cup. Because if these people can go as far as doing all of these things that they are doing, they are capable of buying him. And he's not going to fold his arms and watch them, buy him before he will take action against them. Okay, look at this uh, 180,000 scam that, that's going on right now. Uh, where a woman have come out to let us know that KBC collected $180,000 from her, promised her marriage. We all know that it is a lie. But the the part that shocked KBC to make him want to take certain decision is knowing or finding out that his wife, that one of his wives is involved. As a matter of fact, it is the wife who planned it. Yes. It is the wife, and it's from the information we are gathering, if what we are hearing is the truth. It is Igby, yes, it is Igby, who planned it with her old-time friend to make Winomi feel bad. That is why I say sometimes people, they know, some of these soloists, they know get sense. You want to do it to make Winomi feel bad. Do you think, do you care about how your husband will feel about it? Considering the fact that it is his name that is being... That is, it is his name that you are rubbing to the mud. You know what that means? You think you are, uh, you, you are doing that to Queen Naomi? How is that even... Is it, see, let me tell you, even if it ends up to be true, Queen Naomi has made it clear that she will stand by KBC, come bring, come shine. Even if KBC makes a mistake, Queen Naomi will be there. If, if Queen Naomi is still in the life of KBC, now that KBC have married six wives, when KBC promised her that... Uh, he's not going to marry a second wife after her, and she is still there. What do you think uh, KBC will do that will make her to say, I know do again? That is what some people do not understand. They think that that same Queen Naomi is the same Queen Naomi. See, with age comes knowledge and their maturity. And I believe that Queen Naomi is more matured right now. So whatever you guys are doing, you should be putting KBC into consideration, not even Queen Naomi, because Queen Naomi does not care. She no not give a damn about you. She know that you guys are desperate and can do anything. So she overlook all those things. So, but because they don't put KBS into consideration, why carrying out some of this, their evil act? KBS have decided that it is high time uh, he live a safety or, 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 or let's say a better and self, a self, hell, a better life. Okay? That is why he have decided that it is going to be just Dr. Elizabeth and Queen Naomi. They said the wives are running Helter Skelter. Uh, settling elders to ensure that that did not happen. Let's just watch out and see how it goes. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. I am just a blogger. When I get this information on social media, I come here and share it with you. And I also remind you that they are not for stand information, okay? Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and share, too. And share my video. Bye. I love you guys.